So what are the major changes that you have seen in the EC department over the years? Okay. So this question takes me back in time to 1997. 90, 97, the department had just one single faculty by the name of uh, Professor Dr. Fisi Pradhan. So from one faculty to 30 plus faculty, I think the department has grown in leaps and bounds. I am very impressed with the commitment of the faculty and the students of the electronics and communication in the department of SMRT. And sir, uh, what have you seen, like the different changes that you have seen in the teaching approach of the faculty over the years? Has there been a lot of change? Yes. Definitely there has been a lot of change. Earlier, when we started our career, it was basically chalk and talk. Now, there is much more of multimedia, audio visuals being used by the faculty members. And one important aspect of our faculty members is now we are encouraging the faculty members also to go for online certification so that the same modules can be incorporated in our syllabus and taught to the students so that we are also changing with the needs of the industry. And sir, so how important do you think EC department is to SMIT? EC department is very, very important. I think this department has been just the best department, I think, maximum number of times. And, and very important contribution of EC department was made when Professor Behra joined. He was the first professor to bring a big, big research project that also from DRDO to SMIT. So from there, I think uh, the research culture at SMIT was started by the EC department. So in that regard, EC department is important. And the other uh, thing, what I am very, very impressed this year with the students of EC department is the maximum participation in Tech Adhistria was by the students of EC department. So all this goes to say that EC department is a very important and vital part of SMI. Sir, how important is electronic and communication in modern world? Electronics and communication engineering is very important. Nowadays, we cannot even think a single day without using electronics accessories. Starting from your mobile phone, television, today's LED light all are electronic equipment and with the advent of IOT the scope has increased yeah. scope has uh, maybe squared of electronics and communication starting from VLSI and nanotechnology then uh, communication engineering in telecom sector then uh, automation industries electronic vehicle aircraft everywhere there is a need of electronics and communication engineering students. Well, over the year, EC students are doing very well in campus drive. And uh, last year data I can share with you. Uh, many students have got the three jobs. Many students have got two jobs. And at least one job everybody have got. So I was getting the data from uh, TNP. And I got uh, that placement record for last year. It was more than 150 percent. Uh, what are the achievements of the department? Well, uh, over the years, since uh, the inception of the prize of best department, EC department have grabbed the best department several times, including 2017-2018. Continuously two years, we have grabbed the best department award and students of EC department, departments are going out and uh, grabbing the prizes for different project competition. Students are getting the opportunity to publish their, present their paper in different national and in international conferences. Uh, recently, uh, Mr. Auditro Dhar of uh, third year, he has uh, presented his paper in IEEE conference of URSI and he had the opportunity to meet Nobel laureate over there. So, several achievements, I cannot uh, remember everything right now, but uh, over the years, the EC department has uh, proved that it is the best department of the institute. 